This happens a lot in crypto, right? So this is another one of those cycles. You know, I was there in uh, 20, uh, the end of 2012, 2013 cycle, the uh, 2017 ICO bubble pop, the scare right after the COVID hat, and all these different places uh, where crypto has had these huge run-ups and these huge markdowns. So where do I think this one compares to the other ones? Hmm. There's a, there's two counter trend. There's two trends, and they're working counter each other. On one side, crypto has never had this much acceptance before as like a mainstream place uh, to park some cash. So that's actually holding up the market. If you look right now, the market got hit super hard with the blow up of Luna, which we'll talk about a little bit more uh, yep. later. But we're actually maintaining levels at about 50% off the highs, maybe 55. You, you can go look. Um, and considering how much bad news is coming out. It's actually pretty impressive because you have stocks in the NASDAQ that are down uh, more than that. So I think that that's attributable to the fact that crypto has grown a lot and people are seeing this as like, oh, this is a long-term asset class. So you have some people in the space now who don't care what happens to the market. They're like Warren Buffett. They're just gonna stay in um, no matter what. On the other side of that, we had a very typical run-up in 2021. And there was just massive, massive over-speculation. Uh, usually in that part of the cycle, you start seeing things where everyone is in it to just flip it, make some quick money. Uh, and then also the fraud goes up. And so we've seen more of that starting to be, get exposed. And so that's, that's late cycle events that you see. And when this has been sucked out before, you've seen 90% drawdowns in crypto, you know, not 50%. So um, that's the case for arguing that things are gonna get worse. So I think, you know, definitely in a bear market, I would, it's hard to say that this one is going to be significantly different than the other ones that we've experienced in the past. So I would expect it to be about the same. If that's the case, you know, you're expecting somewhere around 70 to 80% drawdowns. We've only seen 55. So we probably have a little bit more to go. And in terms of timing, usually it's anywhere from uh, one to three years on these recoveries. So just take it down the middle, say, you think 24 months. So, you know, and it obviously starting Q1. So you probably have a good two years here to flush it out. Uh, and that's where I think we are. So this moment is, uh, it, you know, every single time it rhymes, but it looks very similar. So that's where, that's where I think we are um, right now with the crypto market.